If you've ever wanted to recolor your artwork in After Effects in the same way that you would in Illustrator using the recolor tool, then the colors plugin by Good Boy Ninja is exactly what you need. If you decide to pick up this plugin after watching this video, I have a discount link in the description, which will get you 40% off. So I have this animation here, and we're going to recolor it using the colors plugin. So I've got the plugin open here. If you've installed it, you can just go to window and select it uh, down here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click this arrow here, which will pull the colors out of your current composition and make a swatch out of them. So that's exactly what it's done here. Now we're going to select this arrow here and click recolor. So all I'm going to show you first is how to just shuffle your colors around. So if we click this shuffle button here, we can cycle through some different combinations of colors. Some look better than others. And you can keep going till you find one that you like. You can also slide up and down. So if you see these four colors here, you can see slide down is literally just offsetting them each time I click this by one. And then you can slide up as well. Reverse the order. But this is just using your initial colors. So let's press cancel here and it will go back to what our colors were before. And up here, you can click this button to generate a new palette of colors. So let's try this one. So let's click the arrow again here, press recolor. And this time, let's click this arrow here, which will automatically assign these colors randomly to your composition. I think that looks quite interesting. <laughs> let's try shuffling it around. Yeah, I like that. I don't think this pink color goes very well. Okay, so if you want more fine grain control, you can actually drag and drop one of these colors. So I'm gonna, for instance, drag this dark green on the pink because I don't really think the pink works. Uh, now the stroke is the same color as the fill, so you can't see the outline. So maybe let's have the pink as the background. Actually, I think the pink works quite well as the skin. So when you're happy, press apply. So if we wanted to save this swatch to use it later on, you can click this bookmark button. And then later on, when you come back and want to find this swatch, you can click this drop down arrow and you can see our swatch here in our library of saved swatches. If you click this pen button at the top right, you can actually edit your palette with more fine grain control. So for example, I could change this pink color to something else if I didn't like the pink, like this orange and I could remove a color or maybe add a new color in. You can then name your palette and sort the order of colors in your palette by saturation, hue, lightness, or shuffle them around or manually drag them to reorder them. When you're happy, press apply. Okay, now let's recolor using our edited palette. Ooh, that looks a bit warmer. I like that. I'll press apply. You might have noticed in here there's a bunch of other options as well as just recolor. Although most of these are just little elements you can drop into your scene to visualize your palette. So that's like a circle with all your colors on it. A uh, different type of uh, gradient type wheel there. Some of these are actually animated. So waterfall for instance will add in a uh, waterfall of your colors that kind of animates down. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what you would use most of these for. I think uh, some of them you could use quite creatively actually. This one creates an orb out of two of the colors in your palette and sort of adds a gradient onto it to create that 3D effect. So definitely some cool stuff in this drop down. The most useful thing though is definitely the recolor tool. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but feel free to have a look through and see what you like. You can use these arrows down here to cycle through your previously used palettes. If you click this burger menu icon here, there's some options you can change in here, such as the number of colors in your palette when you generate them, whether it will recolor nested compositions, pre-comps in your scene, and helpful links here. You can also change the layout of your swatch in the preview window to a grid, or rows, or columns. And that's basically it. It's a simple plugin, but it's so effective and I'm definitely adding it to my workflow, mostly because of the recolor features. Because sometimes you don't know what colors work until you just randomize them a bit and play around. And the default color features or even the color features in Motion 3 don't really allow you to do that. So until they do, I'm definitely gonna be using this plugin a lot. Check out my Patreon to get access to exclusive project files and asset packs, discount codes or some great plugins, and at the same time, support the channel. You can also join the Discord server where you can chat about animation, get feedback on your work from other community members, promote yourself and more. And as always guys, see you on the flippity flop.